Good morning and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Clint Griffiths. Over the last 40 years, wheat yields across this state have gone from 26 bushels per acre to 31 bushels per acre. Well, there are a lot of factors that go into that calculation. Experts agree that that's bushels behind today's genetic potential. One of the main reasons for that shortfall can be attributed to poor fertilizer practices. Well, OSU's Green Seeker technology can help make sure your crop has enough gas in the tank for the drive to harvest. Well, wheat planting is pretty much all but done. Uh, Bill Ron is here, a soil fertility researcher from OSU. Bill, uh, it was kind of a tough process getting that wheat planted this year, but our producers have it in the ground and now they can sit and watch. But there are some things that they can still do, I guess. Absolutely. Um, and uh, having some decent moisture to get that wheat up has been really important. I mean, that's just half the battle with winter wheat is just getting it up. So we have had moisture. Yeah, and, that, and that's good. We talked last year quite a bit about the green seeker system and, and how important that was to put down those enriched strips. Is there still time to do that? Yes. What we want to communicate to farmers is that if they get that enriched strip out, even as late as the second week of December, it's still time to read it. It's still going to be useful. It's still going to be a guide for what they do in February. Sure, sure. Uh, so you have kind of a demonstration set up to, you know, visually show us yeah. how that would work for them. Yeah. Walk us through it. So what I'd like to do is that it's an, an analogy, but uh, Imagine that good farmer who, who put that to enrich strip out and put it out at planting or soon after planting. Um, in each of these cases that we've got lined out, farmers are in general applying 40 pounds of N per acre top dress. So that's pretty, that's pretty standard then? That is a, a standard value, but there's cases where they need it and there's cases where they don't need it. So in this case, we've just got this this farmer that uh, again had that enriched strip out and he's going to add 40 pounds of N per acre top dress um, and we're just basically going to try and see if we can't determine the proper amount that's going to take him to the end of the season. Now, Bill, is there and in a, this a... case what, what, what the farmer did was he's using that enriched strip basically as a guide or a fuel gauge. Right. And voila, those 40 pounds were actually the exact amount that we could fill up that tank because he's basically got a fuel gauge that he's wanting to learn from. Now, he's using that green seeker sensor to determine that fertilizer top dress rate. So it's not like it's some kind of magic, but uh, we don't want to waste any fertilizer nitrogen. Right. You want to know exactly what you need to put down and apply it timely. Exactly. So for the second example, you guys can see on the side, it's basically a farmer that had a dry, uh, cold winter. And in those cases, there's not going to be a lot of nitrogen that's mineralized from solar organic matter. There's not going to be a lot of nitrogen that comes from atmospheric deposition or from the rainfall. And in this case, there's simply not going to be, there's simply going to be a huge demand for fertilizer nitrogen. Now, there is no way that he would know that unless he had an enriched strip out. Right. So here's the 40 pounds that he's going to go ahead and apply because why? Because that's what he did last year. And he says, well, I'm going to do the same thing this year. So I'm going to put those 40 pounds of N per acre down on that plot. And in this case, what happened? Oh! It's not full. Looks like you need a lot more. Yeah, I mean, surprise, surprise. But he would not have known that, or excuse me, he would have known if he had the enriched strip out right. to apply more. Sure. In this case, maybe he could have produced 80 bushel, but because he didn't have that enriched strip out, he put down 40 pounds, he's not going to make it. Maybe he only produces the 40 bushel. It's kind of going blind then. Exactly. And then the last one is that producer who again, he didn't have an enriched strip out. He had a warm, wet winter. He had lots of nitrogen mineralized from solar organic matter, lots of nitrogen that came in the rainfall. And as a result, he had a lot of nitrogen that was there for free. And if he had had the enriched strip, and if there's a visual that's, that crosses your screen, very little difference between the enriched strip and the farmer practice, right. he would have known, no, I don't need a lot of fertilizer. 
uh, to make it through to the end of the season. But instead, he doesn't have the enriched drip, so he's going to put down the 40 pounds of end per acre either way. Because that's what he did last year. Because that's what he did last year, and what happens? Oh, he's starting to run over. And so let's just keep adding it because that's what he did. And it's just pouring out onto the ground. I mean, an incredible, a colossal waste of fertilizer nitrogen that again, just ends up on the ground. Um, and producers, so there, you just gotta see that waste that's there. That ends up in the environment. That ends up uh, places that we don't want it. Right, instead of helping that crop grow through the end of the season. Bill, if, if you could give producers, you know, just one tip uh, from where they are right now in the season, what, do you, what would you tell them? What do they need to be doing right now? Yeah. The, the nitrogen rich strip is just like a fuel gauge. And the example we give is you know, how many people get in the car to go to Kansas City and they don't look at the fuel gauge. That they, they just get in the car and they say, off we go. And they run out, you know, 20 miles down the road. So that nitrogen rich strip is just like a fuel gauge. But they've got, they're, they're not going to have that fuel gauge to look at unless they put it out. And again, Clinton, going back to the first question, it's not too late to get that enriched strip out right now. Right. I mean, they can wait till mid-December. It's still going to be useful because the enriched strip tells them how much the environment delivered for free. Right. And if they have any questions, they can go to their extension educator and they can always help them out or give us a call here at OSU. Absolutely. The Green Seeker sensors are located in lots of those county extension offices. Uh, they can go to the NUE website. Um, all they do is have to go Google nitrogen use efficiency and the OSU website comes up first. All right, Bill, thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you, the demonstration. Okay.